Millie, Rust, and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Wise guys, reasoning with them is a fruitless effort. However, the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous, I mean, more than usual. We've found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint, but so far, everything is leading nowhere. I've examined the evidence myself, but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement, but then the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing. But the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot, fade to black. We had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. He gave Millie quite a scare. Who knows what would have happened if we had gotten there just a little late. It was getting more obvious now. He's the one responsible for Flint's disappearance. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Paper City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems, wants to get to Amber, so I figured I'd throw him out. Best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. Наверняка ничто не будет так просто и так клишировано. Привет, собачка. Брайан? Хорошо, подожди немного. A bucket. That's a funny word. Bucket. Bucket. Ну, кстати, да. На английском bucket выглядит забавнее, чем... А, выглядит забавнее. Звучит забавнее, чем ведро. Это что у нас? It's locked. Ну, точно. Гвоздем откроешь? А, ладно. Хм. Ну, привет, Брайан. Good evening, officer. Oh, my God, Miss Ashworth, is that really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, we need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case, and we need to find a friend of ours. He might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity such as yourself. I'm so, so sorry. Well... So, so sorry. That's okay. So sorry. Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? A police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? Um, no. <laughs> it is! It just fell on the floor. Well... This is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. My fiance even makes fun of me sometimes. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. It makes you look younger. Well, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. But you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god! Во-первых, бросай свою невесту нафиг, если она смеется над твоей внешностью. Во-вторых, я так и думал, что что-то с тобой не так, ты слишком молодой для усов. И в-третьих, какого черта вход в город находится на чердаке? Ладно, в-четвертых, ты не видел Флинта? 
You haven't seen Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a paper city police officer. Never mind that now. Do you have a bit of a Okay. Hmm. Can't you make an exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, <laughs> seriously, I'm a huge fan, but orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. And how come the city is on lockdown anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. Похоже, нам придется поделать подпись. Stevie. You know anything about the red man? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What kind of questions? What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey, don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you too. Aw, that's so cute. Thank you, Brian. Oh, no, now... Now I'm blushing. I just have to interrupt, whatever this is. Jerry, what kind of information is Red after? It's Brian, sir, and I'm afraid I don't really know much about the subject. Only what I hear from the fellow police officers here and there. Besides, I'm not in a position... To discuss such matters, yeah. Yeah, I know. Неужели красный просто creeper? по Ash? So, what is it we need to do in order to enter the city? Well, I suppose you would have to get clearance, signed by Mayor Mills himself. And he'll just sign this clearance, no questions asked. Normally, no. I don't think so. But since you're in the company of the beautiful and talented Miss Amber, I'm sure the mayor will make an exception. Ты что собрался делать? I'll have to get the mayor on the phone to sort this thing out. You think he'll let us enter the city? I really don't know. But that drunk owes me a couple of favors. It's time to call him up on it. To the Bat Cave. Какого черта? И да, я подумал, ты его сейчас свечкой стукнешь. Mayor's office. Hello there, doll. This is Teddy Bear. You may know me from such cases as saving the mayor's ass on several occasions. I've also set you up with a buddy of mine that one time. Of course, Mr. Bear. I know who you are. Are you looking to speak with the mayor, Mr. Bear? Because I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? No, I have to talk to the mayor personally. It's important. When will the mayor be back? The mayor should be in first thing in the morning, Mr. Bear. Okay, never mind. Thanks anyway, doll. He's not in, and we don't have time to sit around and wait till he sobers up. We'll have to find another way. Hey, what if we made the clearance ourselves? That's falsifying government papers, doll. I like it. There should be some stationery around here. Give me a minute. Have a drink while you wait. A drink of what? Make-believe water? Never mind. Here it is. <laughs> um... Что? There. Now we just need something to use as a stamp. And we need to falsify the signature. You're an artist of sorts. You can do this, right? Not really. I could probably make a stamp out of something, but I can't falsify the signature. Fine. I'll get those two goons to do it. The mugshots? You think they'll help you? Don't worry. My right knuckle can be very persuasive. No, это будет убедительно. Так, а цветные карандаши? Нет? Ладно, пойдем сразу к ним тогда. Как ты собралась печать подделывать? Вернее, из чего? Я так и не забрал эту красную штуку. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You too remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember my first job. I got a job helping out at the local library after school. I was never much of a bookworm, but I would just sit there among the books and smell the air, see? That old book smell still lingers to this day. I would sit there on a banister way past the end of my shift, admiring all the people there. The scholars, the academics. I guess they were a reminder of all the things I could be someday, see? Then they had to lock up and the janitors would come and just toss me out back into a dumpster. Это не то, что я хотел, чтобы ты вспомнил. Черт, um. No. Нет? Ну ладно. I need your help, low lowlifes. 
I've got this fake clearance to enter the city, and I need you to falsify the mayor's signature. And what makes you think we're the right guys for this? Do we look like counterfeiters to you? No, da. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> but again, what's in it for us? А вы что не можете сделать из вежливости? Ради ребятишек точно не станут. Чего? Хм. Вежливость? Can't you just do it out of common courtesy? You sure use a lot of fancy words there, Snoop. Would you do it for Amber? I would do it for Miss. But something tells me you're just dropping names to get us to agree. She's with me, and she needs your help. Oh yeah? She sure lost a lot of weight, or you finally lost your mind, because I can't see you. She's in the other room. She couldn't squeeze through. I'll cut you a deal, Snoop. You bring me proof that little Miss is with you, and I'll falsify this report card of yours. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, the clearance. I'll be back. Sure thing, Arnold. Amber, может ты просто голос подашь? You got it? No, they don't have anything to write with. You have your pencils with you? Here you go, but be sure to get them back. I'll be right back. Ты все еще не хочешь порезать одежду. There, does this qualify as proof to you? Now, show some integrity for once in your life and do this thing. Whoa there! Are these the creator's tools? Where did a snoop like you get these? Ah... Uh, conditor? The Muffin Man gave them to me. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Amber gave them to me, obviously. They have her initials and everything. All right there, Snoop. Don't get all riled up. Show me that land deal you want falsified. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, sure, the clearance. Спасибо. There. Now, if you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. So, how about you hit the old dusty trail? Не выносите его комнату. Он же еще не мертвый, наверное. There. All sorted out. You didn't hurt them, did you? I sure did. Low lives like that only understand one kind of language. Oh no, Ted. Why are you always so mean to them? What? No, it's expected with those two. Never mind that now. I got it sorted. Let's head back to that cop boyfriend of yours. Okay, как скажешь. Интересно, станет он сотрудничать с нами с бумагой? Мы можем его с собой взять. Он выглядит как эм, неплохой человек. То есть пес. Как-то слово пес не особо хорошо выглядит для того, кого я назвал хорошим. Держи. I don't think so. А, почему? Good evening, мисс Ashworth, мистер Тед. Got that clearance yet? Is he making fun of us? I can't tell. Not yet. We're working on it, Brian. Stop. Печать. Черт. Лошадка. Are you hungry, horsey? Ted, do we have a wooden carrot for him? О, нет. Только не вот это. Бюро с подъемной крышкой. Хм. Мы можем это зажечь. I'll take it with me just in case. А -а -а. Maybe I'll need to read in the dark at some point or something. Мы из воска сможем сделать печать? Возможно. Возможно, нет. It's filled with towels, I think, or sheets or something. Ладно, пойдем печать делать. Наверняка у тебя в комнате что-то должно быть. Хотя, хотя. Хм. Свечка, меч, фонарь. Фонарем растопить свечку? Не. Посмотрим, что у тебя в комнате еще можно найти. There. Now I got a stamp. All I need now is some ink. Серьезно? Просто разрезать свечку? И от этого печать получается? А, -а, -а ты вырезала ее. А, -а, -а вот он. Um, как же долго я тебя искал? I'll take this key with me, just in case. 
Наверняка, я даже знаю, откуда он. А, стоп, у меня была... Хм. Я все же хочу посмотреть, как можно взять эту тряпку. Вот эту. Хм. No. О, кстати. А... Неужели? Есть, отлично. Забирай. Хорошо. Пойдем к ней. Вот теперь я рад, что она осталась жива. Милли, я тебе принес тряпку. Милли, мы нашли этот кусок белого кладка в Флинт's доме. Мы думали, что ты мог рассказать нам что-то больше об этом. Хм, я боюсь, что я не знаю этот специальный фабрик. Но по чувству, он чувствует, что это как фаерфайтер's униформ. Я извиняюсь, но это так, как я могу сказать. Фаерфайтер's униформ? Это становится странным по минуту. Что ты думаешь о этом, Дол? Я, честно говоря, не знаю, Тед. Я немного сжигаю на данный момент. Мне нужно пойти найти маму и папу. Кто этот черный человек, он сделал что-то для Флинта. Пожалуйста, не вступайте с твоими детьми в связи. Я предлагаю, что мы идем в Паппер Сити и посмотрим, что мы можем найти на этого человека. Мы можем пойти в дом и поговорить с CBG. Он должен знать что-то. Может, это... Эм... 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 Псих из а, пожарного управления, который сошел с ума на почве всех пожаров и начал сам поджигать все, нет? Что-то вроде светлячка из DC. Но только как это связано с тобой, Эмбер? Работает? Работает. Hey, the key fits. Let's see what we have in here. Духи? Ну, я теперь не удивлюсь этому. Эм, печать? Messy. Hopefully I won't get it all over my pockets. Поэтому мы используем это прямо сейчас. All done. Wow, forging documents is a lot of work. Чего? Хм. Ага. Держи. Here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim, uh, Mayor Mills himself. Yes, here it is, and it's like totally real and not at all fake. Well, everything seems to check out. Wait a minute, and enjoy the scenery, Miss Amber, Mr. Ted. It's a beautiful view of the city from here. Have a nice night. You too, Brian. Good night, Byron. Спасибо. Ага. Хм. Пока, Брайан. Стоп. That thing is so creepy. I bet it comes alive at night and drags itself around the floor. It slowly advances towards the exit until the day it comes down and strangles us in our sleep in a true Silent Hill manner. Окей, пойдем вперед тогда. Это что, и есть город? Отойди. Вот это город? Вау. All right, I guess we're going back there. You ready, Ted? Give me a minute. I thought I left that place for good, you know. What about you? You haven't been there in some time, doll. Yeah, I think so. Besides, we have a case to solve. You're right. Let's go. Ну хорошо, отсюда город кажется больше. It kind of feels like going home. God damn it. It really does. Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? He grew up.
Ну, это было классно. Как по мне. По крайней мере, первый эпизод. Я точно определенно буду ждать второго. Возможно, это мне только кажется, но, по-моему, здесь все очень классные диалоги. И да, похоже, Эмбер все же не кукла, как ее называет Тед, а человек. Ладно, посмотрим, во что это все выльется потом, когда выйдет второй эпизод.